Oh no. <sighs> kidding me. Well, bad news. So, my Mavic Air controller is still dead. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but luckily, I know a drone repair place close by, so I'm going to try to get it fixed before I leave Bali. But just means there's no epic drone shot today, guys. Sorry. Alright, so time for day two of exploring North Bali. So I just dropped off my drone controller, so hopefully, hopefully that's good tomorrow, or over the next few days at least. But right now, I'm at a place called Bali Botanic Gardens. So this place seems fairly big, actually. It cost me 20000 to get in. Well, I think, <laughs> maybe that was just for parking. But it was such a beautiful drive to get up here because I'm like really high right up in the mountains and the view you get is just stunning. But yeah, let's see how big this place truly is. That's oh, cool, so right behind me is one of those like adventure parks. It's called Treetop Adventure Parks. That's where they got like a bunch of zip lines and like little bridges, walkways you go across. But look at this thing here too, it's like right up. I was like, that's the ladder. You can see it. Come on, focus, focus. That's the ladder. And you climb all the way up there. And then there's like a bench. It looks like a diving board, but I don't know what you do from there. <laughs> it looks pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do uh, an adventure park, you can do it here. This is weird. <laughs> I'm literally the only person here. <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but this is a very rare moment to be in a tourist spot like this, I guess. It's dead quiet. Where is everyone? Huh. Kind of feels a bit eerie <laughs> being this quiet. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, and that's where I come up. It was like the whole road. Of nothing, just, just nothing, no people. I think, um, I think this is where like they have ceremonies and stuff. So I guess when they do ceremonies here, it's pretty busy. But yeah, it just feels, feels different. <laughs> I've been in so many places now, and it's just been pretty chaotic with tourists. But coming to a place like this, where there's no one. It's kind of good and bad. I know, it just feels weird. <laughs> Even quiet places like this, I still have fans after me though. <laughs> just had two kids wanted to get a photo with me. Oh man, it's hard being this famous. Some beautiful botanical gardens. Um, I really enjoyed the spot just because it was so quiet. Like, this is probably the quietest spot I've been throughout all of Bali now. <laughs> so, if you want to just get out of that madness and just have a picnic or relax and check out some beautiful gardens, then come here. Okay, so I seem to have two situations at the moment. Situation number one, I kind of did it when I left. <laughs> so, this little thing here. I was just curious, I was like, ah, I wonder what that does. Oops, that's a lock. Like, it locks the key thing. But, I actually don't know how to open it now. <laughs> and, situation number two is, I parked here and there was no bikes behind me. But, there's bikes everywhere now. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to figure out how to get out. After I figure out how to stick my key in the ignition. I might YouTube it first. Right, I think I figured out the key situation. So, on YouTube, it says use the back of the key. And there's actually like a little little lock thing on the back, so let's see if it works. So if you ever get in a situation, <laughs> this is what you do. So I think that goes in there. And you twist it. 
Ah, there we go. All right, that's sorted. Now to figure out how to get out of here. All right, situation sorted. <laughs> so I ended up just lifting it over my head and um, yeah, pass through the bikes. Nah, I, I kind of had to like lift it up a bit to, through the garden and then just push it around type thing. But I am off to um, some temple. Is it a temple? I forgot. It was really, really touristy though. You've probably definitely seen it. I'm just having a snack at the moment. I bought this thing. Well, there's a whole packet. This is the last one. It's really good. It's like a curry cracker. It's got like caramelized sugar on it. It's delicious. So the first place I went to was nice and peaceful, no tourists, but I definitely know this is not going to be like that. So this is called Ulu Banu Bharatan Temple. Um, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it wrong, but I think that's how Google Translate says it. So it costs 50,000 to get in and it was like 2,000 for parking. But you have probably most likely seen photos of this place online somewhere or just living like a travel photo because I feel like it's one of the most iconic temples <laughs> throughout Bali. I feel like I could live without seeing it, but I'm here, may as well do it. Far out, that is one disturbing looking SpongeBob. <laughs> Jesus, it's got no nose. that amazing Bali temple <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like it blew my mind good but it's, it's cool to see I really like this lake though so it's Lake Barriton it's a huge huge lake and you can like drive your boats and stuff on it um, it's a really really nice spot and it's such a such a perfect day I wish I had every day like this but yeah as I said it's cool to see but it doesn't just go Phew. that was awesome just average. How's that for an accommodation? So that little like egg house looking thing there, that is actually an accommodation. <laughs> they got like a bedroom inside. What a cool spot to be. Right, so they got some nice little places you can eat at here, so. Looks like I might have lunch here. Remember when I said the other day papaya juices are amazing? Well, guess what I got? Mm. I love these. All right, tick that off the bucket list. So time for another waterfall. I've got three more waterfalls to check out and then it's gonna be like a two hour drive all the way back from the top waterfall. Ah, my feet are absolutely killing me though because I've got these new pair of thongs. Just wearing a new thongs always gives me blisters. It's not fun. And for all you non-Australians, thongs are flip-flops, jandals, whatever you want to call it. They're not wearing actual thongs. Uh, maybe, I don't know, who knows. Right, so I was just driving up this mountain and I had to pull over because I was really wanted to see this view. Check it out, like it is stunning. It's huge. It's just another big lake. But it's beautiful. It'd be great to get a drone shot of this. <laughs> Too bad I don't have my drone. Jesus. Okay, so I feel a bit lost at the moment. I'm trying to find a waterfall called Banyumala waterfall. Like there's a sign just over there. It says waterfall pointing that way, but I drove that way and there was nothing. Like I couldn't find any walking tracks, but there's a walking track right here. So I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm just gonna figure out where this goes and see if it leads to a waterfall. I don't know. All right, so that original waterfall that I was gonna go to, I couldn't find it. <laughs> like, I, 
I was following the waterfall sign and it was just taking me to a totally different waterfall. So this one here is called Bua Nsari Waterfall. I haven't actually heard of it. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> may as well check this one out anyways, even though I couldn't find the other one. So this one was 20,000 to get in. I feel like these waterfalls, like the further out ones, they're just getting more and more expensive. Uh, hmm. Let's go see what this one's like. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Apparently there is a few waterfalls in this spot. I just saw the sign then and it showed there was like two two waterfalls down this way and then if I hike out the other way there was another two waterfalls. So this is this is the waterfall spot apparently. But how good are they? down the best waterfall I've seen today. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This one, no tourists either. Not even one person other than me. <laughs> but, wondering if I should go for a swim. Freezing. I don't have a towel again. <laughs> but, I'm going to do it anyways. Because, I like waterfall showers. As always, it's warm as ever. Nah, it's actually freezing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I absolutely love getting epic waterfalls like that all to myself. It's just so, so refreshing. Um, but sadly guys, I think that's gonna have to be my last waterfall for today because someone forgot to charge their batteries. So I'm literally, it's flashing red right now. It's flashing red right now. So I'm gonna have to end the day there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said before, I was going to try to get to two more waterfalls. One was called Git Git Waterfall and a Ling Ling Waterfall. Um, they were kind of out of the distance though, so it was going to be too long to get back and it's already getting late. So I'm kind of going to have to end the day anyways. But okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. If you did, remember, subscribe to my channel, give it a like. Um, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone. And I'll be seeing you on another adventure. Yes, I did it. Yeah.